your brain regulates how strong your muscles are. If your leg muscles were to contract at full strength, they would snap your femur. It's why people in emergencies on adrenaline can lift cars off children. Your body is capable of great strength, but it could also severely damage you, so your brain keeps you a weak, soft bag of jelly. When doing surgery where the doctors have to take out some organs, when placing them back, they don't have to be put back in the exact position they're meant to be, your body kind of just, moves the organs into the correct position after the surgery. People who live in extreme conditions for generations adapt in extreme ways. For example people that live in high elevations often have larger lungs and different blood makeup. Or my favorite is the Beijiao people that live on the water and spend a lot of their time diving, their spleens have become 50% larger in order to store more blood. You hate the sound of your recorded voice because it's missing the low frequency you're used to hearing. When you talk, you hear your voice as it goes to the ear and back to your ear. It also goes through your skull to your ear, and this bone conduction mechanism transmits the low frequencies better than air does. Your recorded voice only has the air transmitted sound. That causes the dissonance between what you think your voice sounds like, and what it really does. It's also why your voice will, almost, always be higher pitch than you think. The heart smells like mushrooms. Source, I'm a cardiac anesthesiologist. Humans have, on average, just as many hairs on their body as chimpanzees, human hair is just a lot shorter and finer. Your eyes have a separate immune system from the rest of your body and in a lot of occasions if your body's immune system finds your eyes, they will assume they are a foreign body and blind you. Humans are bioluminescent and glow in the dark, but the light that we emit is 1000 times weaker than our human eyes are able to pick up. When you cry and your nose becomes runny, it's actually your tears. The reason it's so easy to break your collarbone is because it's designed to break. The way it was explained to me is that it's like a circuit breaker. It breaks there to stop the shock of impact getting to your spine. Our brains make up, on average, around 2% of our body weight but consume 20% of our caloric intake. Your body will reduce your muscle strength to protect your spine. Stand on flat ground. Hold your arms out in a T-pose, and have a friend push down on your hand while you try to hold it in place. That's your control, how strong you actually are. Now, remove one shoe, or put a book under one foot, and repeat with your hips askew so your spine isn't straight. An inch is all it takes. Your strength will be reduced to the point that your friend can use a single finger to push your hand down. Alzheimer's disease isn't just gradual loss of memory. It physically exists in the brain. It's a physical substance that attacks the brain. Like, if you were able to open the skull of a person suffering from Alzheimer's disease to take a look at their brain, you would actually see the sticky, fibrous, gray physical matter overtaking their brain. The eyeball is the fastest healing part on your body. You will sooner die from lack of sleep than lack of food. You can live, depending on your current body fat and health level, for months without food. Estimates are you that you will die for lack of sleep within two weeks. The appendix is not a vestigial organ. It actually protects good bacteria in the gut. You can live without it, but it's not just chillin' in there. Scars are not made of permanent tissue, they're held together by collagen, and are in a constant state of repair. This repair is facilitated by vitamin C, amongst other things. Yes, this means that people with scurvy, from vitamin C deficiency, will see all their old scars reopen into fresh wounds. Some women can feel the exact moment an egg is released from the ovary during ovulation. Feels like a little pop just on one side. Pretty neat. Humans are one of a few species of mammal that oddly don't produce their own vitamin C due to lack of a certain enzyme. Other mammalian species who exhibit this mutation are those contained in the main primate suborder Haplorini, 
monkeys, apes, tarsias, as well as bats, capybaras, and guinea pigs. All other mammals produce vitamin C in the liver. You can calm yourself down by splashing cold water on your face to trigger the mammalian diving reflex. You can grow a new human being faster than most missing toenails can grow back. If you carry a lot of unprocessed trauma, it can cause psychosomatic autoimmune diseases. X-rays of children's mouths are nightmare fuel. The second set of teeth to replace baby teeth are already grown and lodged in their skulls. So you'll see two rows of teeth and it's freaky looking. They don't grow in when the old ones fall out, they are already loaded in the chamber waiting to get launched. The surface area of the lungs is about the same size as a tennis court. If you say hot your breath comes out warm but when you say whoa it comes out cold. It's possible to pull a jaw muscle while yawning. I found this out the hard way at work one day. Your body must warm fluids before absorbing them, so drinking ice cold water to hydrate is only burning more energy, and you're not hydrating as quickly. That there is not 20 pounds of toxic poop in your body at any given time. But apparently a ton of people still believe all sorts of ads about some pill or another being able to flush some imaginary toxins out of your body like it's going to magically cure you of 20 years of terrible eating and exercise habits. Apparently not everyone knows that women grow a new organ while pregnant. In addition to growing a child, they grow the placenta. 39% of people have an extra bone in their knee. 100 years ago only 11% of people had this bone. Your brain continues to try to revive the body long after the heart has stopped. In some cases 30 hours later there has been found brain activity trying to make repairs to bring the body back. This is used to indicate time of death in murder victims. The proportion of your vision that is actually in sharp focus roughly equates to the size of your thumbnail at arm's length. The rest of it is just your visual cortex filling in the blanks. In children under 11, for some reason, cutting off the fingertip from the last knuckle will result in complete regeneration of the finger in 100% of cases, assuming the nave is intact. There's no explanation for why this happens, why it only happens to children under 11 and why it can't be sequences to fully regenerate slash grow organs. It also occurs in many animals, as observed in test rodents. I learned that in science class in grade 8 and my dad called me a liar. I showed him my science textbook and he threw it away and said it was fake. Every minute you shed over 30,000 dead skin cells off your body. The reason it feels weird when you or someone touches the inside of your belly button is because the nerves actually go to your spinal cord. These nerves lie at the same level that relay signals to your urethra and bladder. So when you feel like you have to pee when you touch the inside of your belly button, that's why. You can poop out of your mouth if your intestines get backed up enough. It's like vomit, doesn't look like actual poop per se, but it's still disgusting. Humans have stripes, we just normally can't see them. They're called blastcose lines and form along the paths of embryonic cell migration. The stripes are sort of U-shaped down our front, V-shaped on our back, wavy on the head and face and we have basic, simple stripes on our extremities. <laughs>